Hi everyone, welcome to a love reading. So we're going to see what comes through for today. For those of you who are new, my name is Emily and welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who are regular viewers, welcome back. So I felt really drawn to the Wisdom of the Oracle deck today. So we're going to use this to start our reading and then we'll use tarot as well. So we're just going to find out what we need to know about love, relationships, soul connections, um, and we'll go from there. If it resonates, let me know in the comments. Okay, you may feel like you're going round and round and round and round right now with someone. It's like... There's just a cycle in your love life which keeps repeating and it's really frustrating because you can't get to like the root of the problem. Maybe you've been arguing with someone or maybe, yeah, it just feels very kind of circular right now. So you perhaps don't feel like you're making a lot of progress in love and relationships. But then the blessed card came out. So actually, this is indicating um, a really positive change within a relationship. So whoever you're kind of going round in circles with right now, you might find that that is a very sacred and special connection. And as frustrating as it might be right now, perhaps you're spiraling upwards. So sometimes we feel like we're going round in circles, but actually we're just kind of getting closer and closer to the center. So, you know, as kind of frustrating the things have been, things do seem to be improving quite significantly. You might be asking like a lot of questions about a connection, perhaps not very sure about what's going on within that connection or maybe what's going on in your love life generally. Perhaps you're waiting for someone to come in here, maybe waiting to meet someone special. But this blessed card really does indicate some very positive things taking place. Let's get one more. Milk and honey. This is like the happiest card in this deck. It indicates a really sweet, sentimental time with someone um, who cares very deeply about you. So this person is likely not to have told you how they feel. Maybe they just aren't very good at expressing it. I see that um, the truth is, you know, they do feel very blessed to have you in their life, but their throat chakra is quite blocked. They don't really say this enough or... Um, yeah, maybe they just haven't told you how they feel yet, but I like these cards. I really feel that throughout October, November, and even into December, you're going to experience a lot more sweetness within your life. Um, this person's got travel plans with you as well. So you may be planning some kind of long haul, um, vacation or something. Um, or maybe this person just really wants to get away with you, but yeah, I see, some kind of travel and movement around this connection. So let us find out what is going on. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is a mature, divine, masculine. So your person definitely has, um, you know, a lot of feelings for you, but like this person really it's like wanting to show you this. It's like they've got their shit together. You know, this King of Pentacles is so mature and grounded, really knows what they want here. It might be that you two just have not been having a lot of fun lately. So this person is going to like make an offer here to try and um, bring that fun, bring that spark back. I don't know why this King of Pentacles has not been very fulfilled with their own lives, but that is changing. It's like this person's been super frustrated at maybe a stagnation within their life and perhaps they've maybe projected that onto the, onto the connection a little bit. Maybe they've like, yeah, not been showing you how they feel, maybe even a little bit distant within the relationship. Maybe things get better and then they start to like deteriorate again. And that's why you feel you're going round in circles with them. But you know, we do have this changing very, very soon. The moon. This is you, Divine Feminine. You are the moon. Um, This person is very aware of like just how powerful you are in their life. Like you are the light in the dark right now. I actually think for a lot of you, you're connecting with someone who's been struggling lately with their confidence or self-esteem. Maybe they've been struggling with finances or just like 
work like perhaps they've just been too stressed about work and you are kind of showing them the way you're trying to lead by like setting a healthy example here um what's the secret there's a secret here between you both it's not a bad secret guys don't worry it's just like there's something kind of hidden right now which neither of you can see maybe because you keep feeling like you're going round in circles and you're not making progress so maybe and um, the secret here is that actually you are making progress. Let's find out what's the secret here. I'm shown like ancient markings on a cave. So let's see. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. I think... For a lot of you, you can't really just, you can't really see the new beginning which is coming your way because it does feel kind of stressful right now with this Ten of Wands. You feel like, yeah, things are just not going to plan. Maybe this person is just kind of working really hard. Perhaps you feel quite burdened right now, but with this Ten of Wands, it's like, look how close you are to the castle. Um, you may be in the castle already and this represents your person finding their way towards you. But like I said, I don't feel the secret for hidden thing is bad at all. What's actually hidden is just how close this person is to you. And here they are with the Ace of Pentacles. This is the offer of a new beginning. It's like some kind of invitation here that this person is going to make especially because they're showing up as the king of pentacles so this person has the pentacle in their hand ready to give you they might actually give you some kind of like financial um thing so maybe they're going to buy a gift perhaps they do just give you some money to help out um it's very grounded though this pentacles energy so yeah your person is already like got this in their hand ready to give you and you can't see this. You are the moon. Like, you cannot see everything about this situation right now. But this King of Pentacles is honestly ready to approach you with this gift. They're just a little bit stressed right now. They're just feeling kind of frustrated. But the month of October is really about them putting their burdens down, moving closer towards you, kind of showing you just how blessed they feel to have you in their life and you two sharing some really kind of like sweet sentimental moments together um things are definitely improving in this connection with that milk and honey card so especially with a rainbow like the rainbow to me always signifies kind of union happy times so yeah things are, are really looking up here little sd wants to come up and do the reading with us should we see what comes through, Est? This person's on um, lookout for something right now. It's like they're actually looking for something to give you right now. Page of Swords came out as I was getting that message through. So I don't know if this person is looking out, like checking your social media, trying to see what you've been up to, like seeing what moves you've been making. But with this Page of Swords, what are they looking out for? It's like they're, they're trying to find something to give you. Searching for a gift. That's what I really feel here. This person is searching for a gift. To show you just how blessed they feel to have you in their life. There's some strong communication coming in as well, guys. So if you've been waiting for that, then good news. We've got the rebirth. So someone here does seem to be wanting to communicate with you and tell you like what's going on. And um, there's going to be like a rebirth in the communication. But in fact, look, here's the gift. I said I see them searching for a gift and here they are handing it to you. Within the next few like weeks or maybe months here, you can expect to get something really, really nice from this person. Um, it does seem to be like of quite high financial value or like high worth. Maybe it just means a lot to you. It might be something that this person knows you want. Um, so they're gonna make sure that like that's what they get. But this person's put some serious effort into this. Like I said, 
they're actively looking for this gift. It's not like, oh, I'm just going to get some flowers from like the petrol station um, to apologize or whatever. Like they're really thinking about this. Let's see. Oh, wow. The lovers. What nice energy we're getting today. Yeah, this person's really, really um, happy to have you in their life. They want to show you their affection. They want to show you just how much you mean to them. And it's coming through a gift. It is, it's like completely changing the communication between you both. You can expect a lot more honesty and sincerity from this person. I know that right now you can't see where this is going. I'm getting lots of like fog and veils and curtains. So you're here trying to like work out, okay, what is coming my way? What is next with this person? Um, and that's the secret, guys. The secret is this person with that 10 of wands is really, really close to kind of approaching you with this gift, with this pentacle, which they're putting so much thought and effort into. Um, I know you are the one. That's what they want with this lover's card. I know you are the one for me. Let's get some messages from this person using my message cards. I'm not ready, I'm still working on things. I said, look how close they are. They know that they're very blessed, but they're not quite ready to give you this gift. They're still working on it. Our new beginning is so close and here it is. So this person's like, look, I know our new beginning is really, really close. Just let me work on this a little bit longer and stay grounded. Because seriously, like I said, you don't see this coming. It really is an unexpected gift, which they want to give you to kind of make something up to you here. You know, this is about showing you just how blessed they feel to have you in their life. Um, I'm sorry for taking you for granted. That's kind of what this person's energy is about today. Showing you that appreciation. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to keep going with this reading. We're going to go into the extended now. So we're going to find out a lot more about what is coming, what is going on here. So if you want to watch the extended, you can do so on my Patreon site, sacredspace.co.uk. Details of how to watch that video, as well as a sneak preview of it, are on the next part of this video. So just keep watching. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see what else comes out. I hope to see you guys over there um, for the extended. If not, I will see you back here for another reading soon. Really ready to put a hell of a lot of effort in with you to show how appreciated you are. And you know, in part one, when I saw like the ancient symbols on the cave, For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.